Welcome to the Dinosaur Time Zone. Hello everyone, my name is Dino Dandy. That's what my friends call me, and you can call me that too. Cause I'm sure we're going to be great friends. I got my nickname cause my grandma made this cool costume for me. And cause I really like to wear it almost every day. Okay, I'll be honest, I wear it every day. Anyway, the reason that I'm here with you today is to show you this incredible machine. It was loaned to me by a scientist who studies dinosaurs. Hi everybody, this is a time machine and you are inside of it right now. It's really cool because we can go far, so far back in time that we can actually see dinosaurs. What is a dinosaur? Dinosaurs were reptiles that lived in prehistoric times. That was many millions of years ago. Like the reptiles today, dinosaurs had backbones and scaly skin. Where did dinosaurs come from? Scientists think dinosaurs laid eggs just like modern reptiles today. Fossil eggs and nests have been found in several places around the world. Boys and girls, did you know that some of the fossil eggs contain skeletons of baby dinosaurs? I wonder how big those dinosaur eggs really were. We think those dinosaur eggs were no bigger than a basketball. Wow, I think that's neat. Scientists think that this machine needs a little more work because when we travel back, so far back, we enter a world that is frozen in time. Ooh. I think that this is really cool because the dinosaurs are captured perfectly still. And they can't eat you. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> What did dinosaurs eat? Well, us scientists can normally tell by looking at the shape of the dinosaur's teeth. Meat eaters usually had teeth with sharp points and jagged edges. This helped them tear up the meat. Plant eaters had teeth that were smooth and flat on top for grinding plants. Are you a plant eater? Or are you a meat eater? Or are you both? How did the dinosaurs disappear? Well, Danny, scientists do not agree on what caused the dinosaurs to become extinct. They come up with many, many reasons why, but there's no proof that one idea is what actually happened. There is some evidence that only the large dinosaurs became extinct, and that the small dinosaurs did not become extinct. Boys and girls, did you know that scientists believe that over a long period of time, dinosaurs gradually changed into animals that live today? Who knows, maybe we might even have a dinosaur in our own backyard. Awesome! Now, most scientists think that the dinosaurs died because of the changes in the climate. The climate became too hot and plants died. Without food, the plant eaters died. The meat eaters then had less food to eat. After a time, the weather became very cold and the remaining large dinosaurs died. However, scientists don't agree on what actually caused the change in the climate. 
Was it a giant comet hitting the Earth? Were there eruptions of large volcanoes? No one knows, but us scientists are still trying to find the answers. What do you think? Maybe you will grow up to be a paleontologist and solve this mystery. Oh, I'm sure you boys and girls will be great scientists. In fact, you can start exploring for answers right now by traveling back to the Jurassic era. So don't be afraid when you enter this new world. Oh, I mean this old world. Remember, everything is frozen. The dinosaurs can't eat you. All you have to do is press this green button. Or was it purple? Okay, hold on and fasten your seat belts. Here we go to the land of the prehistoric. The awesome age of the Jurassic. as we travel back in time. Sabertooths! Awesome! Oh wow, look up in the sky, a pteranodon. Must be getting close to the Jurassic period. Listen, it's an Apatosaurus. Everybody, we are soon going to stop and take a closer look. Ooh, we made it. Now follow your guide and have a terrific time. Thanks. 